Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back. Glad you could join us. Uh, we're here again with Bill Jordan. Uh, how you doing, Bill? I'm doing great. Hope you guys are. Yeah. Well, Bill, you know, I, I'm doing great, but I'm I've had to turn the news off because it's really depressing. We've been through all I hear about the COVID was the negatives. How many people are dying? No positive. I don't get the positive news. Now all of a sudden we've got hornets coming. Murder, huh. murder. We do have hornets coming. And speaking of which, I'm glad you said that because this allows for a smooth segue. I have this three pack of hornet spray uh, just in time for the Asian murder hornets. Three pack going for $7,500. Get them while they last. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. $7,500. That's like yeah. when people went to Costco and took all the toilet paper off the shelves. They didn't get all of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, how much? Wait, how much? How much for that roll of toilet paper? Well, now, this is a, one of those extra large, so this might have to be, I don't know, this may have to go on auction. This may have to be as, you know, as, as much as I can get for it. So, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's crazy. It's kind of like you turn on the news and it's like, good morning, America. What are we terrified of today? Yeah. yeah. Everybody, we're in, we're in constant, we seem to be afraid of everything. And when you look at the news, everything is bad. The economy is this. I mean, you try to track it. Uh, there's, there's always something. There is always something. And I, and I looked into this a little bit. I googled it. Psychology Today, the magazine, has done some studies and stuff. Parts of our brain light up more with bad news than good news. Really? Yeah. It, it, it's, it. They can, they, they light you up. People, for whatever reason, we can say we want good news. And the John Krasinski, I don't know if you guys have seen the John Krasinski YouTube uh, videos called Some Good News, actor John Krasinski. It is brilliant because he'll just do good news and man, he'll have you. I mean, he's la you're laughing, you're crying. I mean, it's fantastic. So look, look at that. But people, I, I, you know, we used to think that people like bad news because it made them feel better about their own lives. And there might be something to that. But all this barragement, I think, of bad news does weigh on you. I mean, didn't I share with you all a few weeks ago about I was going to have a no news Tuesday? Yes. And I had a pretty good Tuesday. No news. <laughs> no news. But, the, uh, but, but Bill, um, uh, I know that uh, uh, in your years in radio, you part of the time, I guess, you, you announced the news. But I think that the difference today uh, as, as part of embracing the boom, boomer generation, is I remember when there, there were three broadcast stations, news was only on uh, maybe uh, local news for a half hour, national news, uh, Huntley Brinkley and, and whoever else, uh, uh, Cronkite. Oh, so it wasn't 24 hour. So basically they need to keep your attention between Fox and CNN and uh all the uh, proliferation of uh, news stations, they need to fill time. So what do they fill time with? With bad news. So, well, I not mean, only bad news, what do but we bad opinion. You don't find much news anymore. Oh, opinion, it, you're right. it, it's all, it's opinions. Yeah. It's opinions. Yeah. And I do want news. And I've asked people, where do you go if you don't want spin and agenda? Where do you go? And there's not a whole lot of choices. I don't know where I go for that. So I do try to ping pong around, but it's interesting to see the different spin and viewpoints and takes and left and right and all that stuff. It's hard to it's hard to get through all of that stuff. But, you know, the Denzel Washington, I was just watching a video clip of Denzel, the actor Denzel Washington this morning, and somebody asked him about the news and reading the newspapers and stuff. And he had a great quote. You guys may be familiar with it. And I'm paraphrasing it a little bit. If you don't watch the news, you're uninformed. If you watch the news, you're misinformed. <laughs> wow, great line. Because that, because again, with the 24-7 news cycle, people don't care if it's accurate. They just want to be first. Yeah. They just want to be first. Yeah, and and everything, everything is breaking news. Everything. everything. News. Okay, yes. somebody broke a fingernail. A broken That's fingernail. It. Why don't they say broken fingernail? That's it. <laughs> But bad news, you know, there's the old, there's the old uh, line from news, too. If it bleeds, it leads. Yeah. Yeah. And that's you know what bothers me is not that 
it the news is bad, but that even when they have good news, they find a bad spin. They they always can find the talk about the negative side of the good news, you know. Uh, and Ooh. of course, that's where the opinion comes in. You can take anything and have an opposite opinion. So, yeah. well, the bias confirmation, and I've I've learned quite a bit about bias confirmation in the last year, and I've and I'm prone to it as well. Uh, you know, candidate po politician A is never going to do anything right for the po folks who follow politician B, and politician B is never going to do anything right, right for those who are fans of politician A. Just impossible. Will not bend a bit as to something good that could be happening. Um, there's a Dr. Trevor Moab, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, M-O-A-W-A-B. He's a mind coach, a mental coach, and he's the primary mental coach for Seattle Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson. He's my one of my favorite football players now. And he does this thing. They, I guess they scientifically studied this. The power of negativity he says it's four to seven times greater than the power of positivity. Oh, what a shame. Well, I mean, this is so, and I've got another point to make about that, about, about marriage. So what he's saying is we can try to be positive and go, hey, we're going to be okay. And all that's great. But one negative has the power of four or to seven positive statements. So to him, it's, trying to negate or lessen the amount of negative self-talk that we do to ourselves. I mean, how many times have I been playing golf going, Bill, you're an idiot. You're an absolute moron. You've never, you know, we beat ourselves up so much that if we can eliminate the negative self-talk, we will be far more better off than if we just give ourselves more positive self-talk. And another article I just read uh, this morning on through Google, Psychology Today, perhaps even again, when we talk about marriage, husband and wife, and, you know, if you can balance the good with the bad, the good and the bad, you know, it's about, but they say the balance, and this is not even this other doctor I was talking about. You need five good things to equal one bad thing in your wow. marriage. So if you have a big argument, you still need five. That's why we never can get enough attaboys. I think that's, you know, you can't get enough husband points. You can't get enough points because it's a five to one ratio. The negative outweighs the bad. It's that powerful. The negative is a powerful. And there's, you know, there's inertia, the old, and I wasn't a whiz at physics, but I did learn, you know, a body in motion or at rest tends to remain in motion or at rest until acted upon by an outside force. Well, it's occurred to me that that is with our thoughts and our attitudes as well. So these people who are all negative all the time, they're just going to stay negative until something amazing happens to them, but they're not attracting anything amazing or positive happening in their lives. Well, Bill, there is some actually, and this is, I think, breaking news. We're going to hear for the first time here of some incredibly good news. Um, you're about to reach a milestone of followers, aren't you? My public Facebook page is getting really close to 18,000. Uh, wow. 18,000 likes. And I started off in spring of 2013 with like 1,300 likes, but I've just kind of kept plugging at it. I've mentioned to you guys before, if you've ever been in radio or TV or media, if you leave that, social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, they're just, they're just uh, another transmitter. And so, where, where can people go to to help you get over that 18,000? Well, uh, Facebook, uh, Bill Jordan, J-O-R-D-A-N, and look for the profile picture that's my mug. And then there's a little, the, the background picture is me holding the mug, kind of like what you guys have talked about. I'm kind of, either I'm like that or I'm like this. So, uh, yeah, come along, follow along, but I just try to post stuff that's either funny or thought-provoking or... It might even be moving to you, you know, something that's very emotional, not necessarily sad, but, you know, there are tears of joy and uh, there's all kinds of tears, not just sad tears. So uh, I just try to move the needle, the emotion meter one way or the other. And I've got a lot of great folks who are following me and very supportive. And they've been buying the mugs on my uh, Shopify site of Bill Jordan, embrace the boom.com. You guys have been so gracious in allowing me to, uh, to, to, to plug my effort. And, and it is a movement. Uh, I, I really Absolutely. think if you're a baby boomer, we need to, as we talk about positivity, 
we need to embrace that boom and not bemoan the fact that we're getting older, or we're, I'm getting the turkey neck, or my skin is getting wrinkly, or... But there's other good stuff that's going on now, you know? There's just yeah, good yeah. stuff going on. Well, actually, on. some of us think that getting the turkey neck and getting the wrinkled skin is great. And I'm looking forward to that for the next 30 years. So there you go. I've, I've embraced <laughs> a 30-year rolling plan. Uh, that's but it. helping me is, is embracing the boom. So I think we ought to leave this off on really great news. Let's get no more negative news in this interview. And... Um, uh so i'm i'm saying embrace the boom yeah and and the good thing about these these mugs bill is this is my left-handed mug right yes oh yeah and it's my right-handed mug it's and, amphibious and this is my this is my uh bill jordan uh impersonation you guys are great. I appreciate it so much. So until next time, live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.